Legend. A legend is sitting next to me right now. Country Music Hall of Fame singer-songwriter Whisperin' Bill Anderson will serve as the honorary captain of tomorrow night's Reds game. And he just happens to be in our studio this morning. And good thing you're going to be at the Reds game because I don't know if you know it or not, but your song's been there all season long and then some. Cincinnati, Ohio. Well, that's what I found out. Yeah. I wrote that song way back many years ago. And baseball season started this year and Reds fans start sending me emails and <laughs> tweets and things. They're playing Cincinnati. Ohio it's at the ball game. Right. I said, you got up. that mixed up. <laughs> no, it's really your song. It is happening. Now, how, how long did it take before you, you, you heard from the Reds, or did you end up reaching out to them as fans were contacting you? Yeah, I find, what's going on? You know, <laughs> tell me about this whole thing. And then I said, I want to come up there and see it and hear it. I and, love it. I and love it's it. one thing kind of evolved to another. So I'm going to be out at the ballpark tomorrow night. They're going to let me be the honorary captain. And I think I'm going to lead the crowd in singing Cincinnati, Ohio at the uh, seventh that inning. I hope so. sounds like a heck. <laughs> of a play. Now, not your first time, though, that you've been up here to hang out with the Redlegs. You were telling me a story just a little bit ago. I became very good friends with Dave Bristol when he managed the sure. Reds when it was Crosley Field. Oh, I mean, yeah. That's how far back I go. And then, of course, I knew Sparky and so many of the players and all in the early 70s, uh, the Big Red Machine. I actually played a show at Riverfront Stadium in 1970 with my band. I brought some pictures. I don't know where they might they're, have wandered They're somewhere in this building, Mr. <laughs> Anderson, we don't know where they are I right now. I presented Johnny Bench with a guitar. A guitar company That's in great. Nashville sent a guitar up here, and we called Johnny out in front of, you know, 40,000 people and gave him the <laughs> guitar. And you never know what's going to happen. He walked up on stage, hit a chord on the guitar, and started singing. Don't it make you want to go home, boys? <laughs> now, he didn't sound that good. There's no way he sounded that good. I don't believe it. Uh, but w what a team to have been uh, associated with you, because, I mean, you're talking, you know, getting back big red machine yeah. guys on that team. With Johnny. Well, see, a lot of those players came through the old Sally League, the South Atlantic League, okay. and they used to come to Nashville and play. And so we would go down, we'd sneak out of the Grand Ole Opry early, and we'd run down to the ballpark and, and watch Pete Rose and uh, Tony Perez and so many of these guys, you know, as they were on their way sure, up. Sure, on their way up. Hey, you know, another thing I was reading about you that we were talking about a little bit, when you went to school, you were a journalism major. So why are, why are you, you should be sitting over there. Okay. You're going to say, oh, God, wait a minute. I don't want to be losing my job here. I know, but, but, but that's great. That, how did you go from your interests there into making your life the, the life of a, a country music country musician? Well, you know, really and truly, I got into the music business as a songwriter, so I was using my journalism then. Yeah. I mean, I learned how to do the who, what, where, why, and <laughs> how, and when, and all of those things. And you put those into a song. Oh, a good country song, you got to have a country have song. You better have all those ingredients in oh, there. Oh, that's great. So I just took my journalistic uh, endeavors and started putting tunes to them, and I love it. here it is. Uh, let me ask you this very quickly, and we have to wrap things up. Do we have the pictures? Wait, just just give them to me, by golly. <laughs> Hang on, we're going to get these on no matter... Uh, Look at that. Now, that's me talking to Sparky. I got Guys, one of Sparky's old right jerseys that he gave me that he wore in the World Series yeah. with Anderson on the back of it. I'm Look at that. There he is. That. Well, I like that suit you got on there, too. <laughs> I, li I like that a lot. Hang on, we got another one. We got another one. Just stay on that, stay on that camera, guys. I'm going to show a couple of these. So this was 1970, you this was not. Yeah, and I wouldn't know except the photographer wrote the date on the back. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, that's where we were just doing the concert there. And then the one underneath that is the one I think where I gave Johnny. Oh, that's the, the, the guitar for Johnny. There it is. Johnny the guitar. There it is. They're giving me the raps yeah. on. <laughs> Mr. Anderson, it is honest to goodness. It is an honor to have you here today. Great to be here. Thank have you. Have a blast at the Reds game. Thank you.